and staying in Africa, the continent is all set to get its youngest elected president in Senegal. The unofficial results for the presidential election show that 44-year-old opposition leader Basihu Diomai Fai is leading with 53% of the vote. The ruling coalition's candidate Amadou Ba has already conceded defeat and congratulated Fai, who was backed by the former prime minister. Our next report takes you inside. Africa is set to get its youngest elected president. Only a few had heard of him a year ago. And now, 44-year-old Basiru Diome Faye is tipped to be the next president of Senegal. He was released from jail just a week before the election, and the president-elect vows to usher a new era in the West African nation. Provisional results show Faye received over 53% votes across 90% of the polling stations. The young leader is calling this the people's decision to break from Senegal's past. The Senegalese people have chosen to break with the past, to give substance to the immense hopes raised by our vision of society. I hope that our vision of society has given substance to their aspirations. I pledge to govern with humility and transparency and to fight corruption at all levels. I pledge to devote myself fully to rebuilding our institutions and strengthening the foundations of our way of life together. His political opponent and the ruling coalition's candidate, Amadou Ba, has conceded. Amadou Ba, the 62-year-old former prime minister, was backed by incumbent President Macky Sall. He received a little over 36% votes. Congratulations once again to President Diomaye Faye. I wish him every success at the helm of our country. May God accompany him as he carries out his mission for the greatness of our nation and the well-being of our population. Celebrations erupted on the streets of capital Dakar as reports of Faye's victory came through. The president-elect has been particularly popular among the young voters. 60% of people in Senegal are under the age of 25 and struggle to find jobs. Faye promised to dedicate more state resources to help the youth. I say it's great because it's democracy that's winning. Everyone thought it would never happen. Today, if these results are indeed confirmed, it's Senegal that absolutely wins. Faye owes much of his success to the backing of firebrand opposition leader Usman Sonko. Sonko was barred from running due to a defamation conviction. Both Faye and Sonko, former tax inspectors, were released from jail this month. They campaigned together to fight corruption and prioritize national interests. Their campaign received immense support as the Senegalese people were burdened under rising cost of living. It was further boosted by a police crackdown on opposition protests and fears of a dying democracy after President Macky Sall sought to extend his term beyond the constitutional limit. Sall wanted to postpone the elections originally scheduled for February 2024 by 10 months. This was vehemently opposed by citizens and blocked by the country's top court. This election took place in a context marked by a pre-electoral crisis that cost lives, left many injured and saw many patriots imprisoned. We intend to turn this page to reconcile hearts, to reconcile the Senegalese people and to set to work tirelessly to mark and realize the hopes raised by my election and the project I am carrying forward. A peaceful transition of power after a period of turbulence in Senegal. It marks a boost for democracy in West Africa, a region that has witnessed eight military coups since 2020. Many hope the vote will bring stability and an economic boost after three years of financial hardships and anti-government protests.